डॉक्टर बाबा साहेब आंबेडकर ओपन यूनिवर्सिटी हेलो माय डियर स्टूडेंट आई एम वेलकमिंग यू ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ द डॉक्टर बाबा साहेब आंबेडकर ओपन यूनिवर्सिटी इन चैतन्य स्टूडियो फॉर द वीडियो लेक्चर सीरीज फॉर द कोर्स कॉल्ड बीबीए रेगुलर इन द पेपर नंबर टू जीरो टू फंडामेंटल ऑफ फिनेंशियल मैनेजमेंट इन दैट वी टूडे वी डिस्कस ब्लॉक फोर यूनिट नंबर थ्री विच रिस्पेक्ट टू फिनेंशियल प्लानिंग टू नाउ लेट्स बिगेन अवर सेशन विथ the learning objective of this session or we can say for particular this unit after learning this unit you will be able to understand the basics of derivatives that means what you mean by the derivatives then the practical financial planning become easier if you are going for the big financial projects as well as the projection of the financial statement for the future next you determine or you you may define that how to calculate efr then how the funds can be raised through the different alternative or we can say the different sources also then you majorly define the difference between various derivatives products like you define the different types of the product of the derivatives or types of the derivatives okay my dear student now let us understand the introduction point with respect to this unit that is called financial planning 2 in block number 4 now under to understand the financial planning and preparation of financial plan after the external fund requirement i i earlier earlier discussed that uh, what are the different requirements of the fund that is internal requirement as well as the external requirement of the funds also so you have to determine first to policy to be determined how to you calculate the whole financial planning with respect to your financial statement as well as the cover of the all the essential sources of the finance for that this unit will begins the introduction of the derivatives we will also learn how to prepare a financial plan to support the targeted level of sales also so my dear friends in this chapter or we can say in this unit of financial planning 2 we discuss the different types of derivatives as well as how you utilize your efr that is external funds requirement how you prepare or projection of your financial statement for the nearer future now let's begin our session the discussion of derivatives the derivatives are the most modern financial institution in a hedging risk now there are the different type of risk as we learn in the risk and return chapter so one of the most important financial instrument in today's era or we can say in a modern era that is derivative it's treated a very hedging risk over it then the individual and the firm who wish to avoid and and we can say the reduce the risk can deal with the other who are willing to accept the risk for a price a common place where such transaction take place is called a derivative market so ultimately we can say that my dear friends where the individual and firm may wish to avoid or reduce your risk level at that point of time they have to willing to accept the different type of risk of for the particular price so at that level that is a common place where such transaction are take place which is treated as a derivative market so in a layman language my dear friends we can say that derivatives are the those assets who value its value is determined from the value of some underlying asset the underlying asset may be my dear friends equity commodity or currency so in a layman language i can suggest that the derivatives are nothing but those assets which are de de uh, deal or value 
and determine from the value of some underlying asset like equity commodity or currency so they the derivatives their value from some underlying instrument and have no intrinsic value of thereby to one in that forward future option swap caps and the floors are the sum of more commonly used in the derivatives now let's understand the what are the different types of derivatives so my dear friend there are majorly four types of derivatives are there there is a first that is a forward contract second is a future contract third is a option and swaps so if in your examination the question was asked by the examiner that is the determine the derivatives and the different types of the derivatives then you must be mentioned this chart with respect to there are total four types of derivatives are there that is a forward contract future contract options and swaps now let us define that structure and the derivative investment product there are majorly we can uh, analyze with the level of or we can say in the pyramid structure there is in a first that determine the portfolio hedging and complex strategy with respect to the product structure and selected the private bank in that they define the personalized strategy and packaging then structure the product and then access the listed and quoted the product so ultimately this is justify the different and very easy a structure to deal with the derivative investment products now let us discuss the first type of derivative that is a future contract a future contract provides the both right an obligation to buy or sell a standard amount of a commodity security or currency on a specified future date at price agreed when the contract is entered into that means whenever you entered in a contract at that point of time whatever that particular security or come or uh, we can say the price you give in a uh, price define in a contract which will be treated as a future contract ultimately this is a future contract that means it will be executed in a future but right now you, you just standardize or quote that particular price for the commodity or currency or security a key element of any successful trade Uh, traded the future contract must be the characteristic of the standardization it is this element which makes the agreement tradable the only negotiable challengeable amount or we can say the element must be a price agreed when the enter into the contract that means whenever you enter into the contract at that point of time you have to standardize that price and you deal with the that price in a future as well with respect to your contract now let us discuss the types of the future contract there are majorly two types that is commodity future and financial future what is the commodity futures where the underlying assets or we can say the underlying commodity or a physical asset such as a wheel cotton butter egg etc such contracts began the traded on the chicago board of the trade in 1860s and india two future on the soybeans and the black paper soybean and the black paper spices have been trading for a long that means ke you determine with respect to particular commodity trade in a future market that means if you are going for the we can say we we'll take a example of the black paper the black paper price is now decided that is a 50 rupees per 100 gram will be sellable in a future that means ke whenever you execute that contract but you determine to standardize that price rupees particular rupees for a particular gram which will be analyzed in a commodity future type also then second is a financial future where the underlying such as a foreign exchange interest rate shares and treasury bill or stock index so majorly there are two types of future contract that is commodity futures and second is a financial futures now who are the different participants in a future market first is a hedgers second is a speculator and third is a arbitrage 
The first is a hedger that is hedger wish to eliminate or reduce the price risk to which they are already exposed. The hedging function solely focuses on the role of the transferring the risk of price changes to other holders in a future market. Second is a speculator. The speculators are the those class of the investors who willingly take price risk for to the profit from price changes in a underlying way. So second is a speculator. Third is a arbitrageurs. They ultimately the profit from the price differential existing in the market by the simultaneously operation in the two different markets are there. So ultimately, I can say that these are the main key participant in a future market. Now let us discuss the forward contracts. The second type of the derivatives that is forward contract. A forward contract involves an agreement today to buy or a sale a specified amount of a foreign currency at a specified future date at the rate agreed upon today that is a forward rate in the future the typically forward contract are for the one month three months or six month with the three month being the most common contracts are there and the forward contracts for the longer period are not as a common because of the great uncertainty involved in. So ultimately I can say that or in a layman language or in an easiest manner that is forward contract is nothing to justify the specified future date at the rate agreed upon today. That means ke you specified that ke date is the future and the rate is defined right now which will be executed in a forwarded way which means which will be the executed in a minimum of the one month three month or six month era which will be created as a forward contracts it is a fixed price or we can say that is the fixed price of contract made today for the delivery of a certain amount of currency at a specified future date the specified date is a statement or we can say the settlement date we can say that it, it is ultimately the settlement date because you justified and you determine the date today that is a future rate and the rate is defined today so ultimately it will be executed in future so it will define that is a specified date is a ultimately treated as a settlement date and the agreed upon that particular price is termed as a forward rate. So there is a contract for the forward rate as well as the forward date also. Next is on that no money changes the hands today. The exchange take place on the future date. The forward contract stipulated that the full amount need not be exchanged on the settlement date. Only the difference between the forward rate and a spot rate prevailing on the settlement date will be paid. That means the difference between spot rate and forward rate you have to pay on that particular forward date or we can say the settlement date. The hatching and speculation are the main activities which pertain to the forward market. So majorly that there are the three participants are there that is hedging then ultimately the speculation and the arbitrage so ultimately here there are the main two functions or two main participants are there that is a hedging and speculator hedges and speculators are there for example let us example let us take an example on that on a march 1st a agrees to buy a one pound sterling from b three months forward at a price of dollar 1.70 5. As a convenience to both, they agreed that on the settlement that that is a June 3. That means uh, for the contract was made on a March 1 and executed on a forward date is June 3. And only the net amount will be exchanged. The net amount is defined to be difference between the forward date or we can say the forward rate that is a uh, dollar 1.75 and the spot rate whatever it is in the three months time that is june 1 
if the pound is above the 1.75 dollar we pay a difference between them that is a spot rate turns it out to below 175 then a pays b the difference either the way payment will be take place on the dollar again the convenience that means let us take in, in this example if on the 1st March, you made a contract with the dollar 175 and on a future date, that is a June 3, but on a June 1st, if the rate will be the above that your uh, forward rate, then B pays the difference or difference, particular difference amount to A. And if that dollar will be decreased or pound will be decreased over it, that is of 1.75 dollar will be decreased then a pays to b whatever the differences are arise there and it must be in a convenience way that the place the dollar into that particular way now let's take an example or let's discuss the different type of derivatives that is an option the contracts between seller and buyers which obligate the former to deliver and entitle the latter without any obligation to buy the stated quantity of assets with stated quantity at some future date at today's contracted price which is treated as an option so my dear friends here we can say that the contract between the seller and buyer which obligate the former delivery and entitled to the later without any obligation to buy stated quantity at a stated future date on a stated price or contracted price which is treated as your option that means k seller and buyer have the option whether you purchase today with respect to this amount or whether you purchase this particular quantity in a future date as what contract made today the rate which will be prescribed today or a contract date which is treated as an option the option market is not only extend to the stock dealing but also to foreign currency and the commodities etc an option is right but not an obligation to enter into the transaction it is defined as a right but it is not an obligation that you have to deal with this particular for this particular transaction this is ultimately the right of a person not an obligation of a person the features of options are there the first feature is the option is exercisable only by the owner namely the buyer of the option the owner has a limited liabilities over it then owner of options have no right affordable to shareholders such as a voting right as well as a dividend right options have high degree of risk to the option writers the flexibility in investors needs also there are the different flexibilities over that particular investors needs then no certificates are issued by the company because it has the limited liability it will define the flexibility to the investors then why they granting the different certificates over it yes or no my dear friends so these are the different features of the options are there is it clear my dear friends yes or no this is a very simple features now majorly there are two types of options are there first is a call option second is a put option the put option gives the right to sell the share at a future date at the predetermined price it is defined as a put option that means you gives the right to sale at a specific date at a specific predetermined price which is called a put option next is a call option 
a call option gives a right to buy the share at a predetermined price at a future date there is a very big and a very simple meaning of that the put option and the call option that is in a put option you justified and you have a right to sell at a predetermined price and in a call option you have a right or you gives the right to buy that particular share at a predetermined price at a future date which is treated as a different types of option that is call option and put option over it now in both of these options are the derivatives or a secondary instrument these are not a primary instrument firstly they give the options with respect to the particular contract over it if there is a non at a question at that point of time these are the two types of options that is a call option and put options are there so you may choose whatever you want my dear friends so this is what the financial planning the heart of the financial plan they give the derivatives the underlying asset or the marketable underlying asset at that point of time it will be determined how it will be analyzed and how it will be given in the different types of the derivatives over it first is we can say the future contract forward contract then this is option so you have the different alternatives to you to finalize or to make a plan accordingly your different future projections so the value of which will be the different from the value of share on which it is based which is treated as a option now let's discuss the last and the final type of the derivatives that is a swap what is a swap a swap can be defined as a exchange of one stream for a future cash flow with another stream of the cash flow with different characteristics it means you ultimately your exchange one commodity or one future cash flow with respect to the other stream of cash flow which is treated as a swap second definition is that a swap is an agreement between the two or more people or parties to exchange the set of cash flow over a period in a future both are ultimately the same in a nature but interpretations are the different level just because to termed as an agreement between it so my dear friends here we can say that the swap is nothing but you just exchange the one cash flow or one set of cash flow for a period in a over the period in a future or we can say the exchange of a one stream of the cash future cash flow with the another stream of the future cash flow with a different characteristics over it so this is treated as a swap now swap can be divided into the two types so this have the two types of swap are there the first is a currency swap and second is a interest rate swap in first the currency swap the currency swaps are the agreements whereby currencies are exchanged at a specified exchange rate and specified intervals the time is fixed the rate is fixed at that particular specified rate so which is treated as a currency swap and this is the basic purpose of swap is the lock in a rate that means you justified that particular rate for an exchange this is treated as a currency swap next is interest rate swap an interest rate swap is an agreement whereby one party exchange one set of interest rate payments for another one that means here the one party may exchange to with the another payment detail with the another the most common arrangement are there is the exchange of a fixed interest rate payment for a another rate over a time period then the interest rate calculated on the notional calculated interest price or we can say the principal 
because ultimately your interest will be calculated on a principal amount so which is treated as a interest rate swaps if you want to study more with respect to this particular unit then you may define or refer this three books that is financial management by ravi m kishore then financial management by i m pande financial management of pc tulsiyan and bharat tulsiyan so you justified and you read more and more with respect to this particular unit so in today's session my dear friend let's sum up with today's session that what we study the basic of the financial planning part 2 of block number 4 and that we studied that the meaning of derivatives different types of derivative structure of the different products of the derivatives then we define the in detail the different type of derivatives that is future contract forward contract options then swaps also in that we justified that the which option or which derivative is a great and the beneficial for our financial planning that's more important so in that in next session we continues this particular unit with respect to the differentiate between the future contract and forward contract as well as the different type of external fund requirements and how to project your future financial statement with respect to the existing complexity is it clear my dear friends hope you learn well in today's session we will meet in a next session with a different discussion have a great day thank you ya yahan par ma